Welcome back, guys. This is now the second wash, but the one week update of our 28 way glass ceramic coatings longevity test. This is the portion of the test focusing solely on the hydrophobics longevity. So look at it as the coatings that you would be applying to the side or the back glass of your vehicle, not the windscreen. That part is for a test that I'm currently in the middle of working on right now. These products have had a full two weeks to cure inside the shop before we did the first wash last week, and we already saw a few products showing some diminished hydrophobics. I was looking at them before washing for any signs of water spotting, and I wasn't seeing much of anything to be concerned with. Let's get to the wash. First, we will foam these windscreens down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course, we'll inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. These windshields will sit outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they're washed weekly until the last one fails. Normally on a standard test like this, I would do weekly for the first month and then monthly after that, but this is more of a shorter term test. I don't foresee any of these lasting something like a year, but maybe I'm wrong. The other thing to note here, a lot of these products require toppers. They have a lifetime warranty. You still have to come back every three months or six months or a year to get it topped off. We're not going to do that here because that would kind kind of be pointless because then this test would go on forever. That's not the point. We're applying the product as instructed and then we're gonna see how long the hydrophobics hold up. Jumping into it, NGNT from Switzerland, looking good. Drexler, Carbon Collective, looking good. IGL Window and DPC. They're not to the point where they would be weak, but they are not looking great. You can see some diminished hydrophobics right away there, and then they let go and the water falls off the glass. Nano Cotex, G Technic, Glass Parency, Ceramic Pro, Car Pro. Everything performing as advertised so far. This is the second wash. Everything's been sitting outside. We've had an inch or about two and a half centimeters of rain over the last week as well. Glosset, Ceramic Pro, System X, Shatter X, everything performing as intended. Some of these products are not inexpensive, so they had better perform. Adams two part armor all the three dollar one looks like it's doing all right. Adams glass boost showing a little diminished hydrophobics as we saw in the first wash. Liquid glass guard, Adams sealant, all doing well. Did see somebody in the comments said on the first video the armor all that they purchased they scrubbed it with a scouring pad and applied it and it lasted about a week for them on their windscreen. So it looks like on side glass it's doing all right. Little three dollar product. Nexet, Aquapel, Rain-X, Pearl Nano, everything looks like it's doing well. Gion, Repel, Meguiar's, Griot's never wet. So everything, Griot's glass sealant, just a little bit there, but not really. So what do you think, guys? Is this as expected, or did you think there'd be more failures at this point? Personally, based on my experience with glass coatings, I really thought there would be more failures by now, but again, we have none. We have DPC and IGL window and Adam's glass boost. Those are the three that are showing signs of weakness, but we're not ready to call them weak. Also of note, I do rotate these windscreens 180 degrees after each time I wash them so they do get an even rotation every time we wash so it'll be every week gets rotated 180 degrees so there's your update guys thanks for watching see you next week